Welcome back, YouTube. I hope you guys are well. We have a new review. Um, pardon my apologies if I sneeze during this broadcast because I'm kind of fighting a cold. I'm a little sick, but these shoes are equally as sick. It's a natural gray low top Air Jordan 1. So it's summit white, smoke gray, uh, not as bright white, hence the summit, uh, as the Retro 85 natural gray. But the box is really cool. It's kind of lifted. You can kind of feel the text on there. Another thing that's amazing, well, I mean, what I would like to see, it's not amazing, but what I've been asking um, just across the board from Nike is actually make the boxes more narrow, and they did it finally. So it's a low top shoe, and they actually cut down on the size of the box, which I'm very happy about. For storage space, I'm sure you guys, if you buy a lot of sneakers and stuff, can relate to that. Uh, but yeah, we'll hop into the shoes next, a little bit of a review, and then we're going to look at these beauties next to a few other pairs. But first of all, there's definitely, you know, some Retro 85 aspects of the shoe. Uh, the leather, I think, is done really nice. It's it's pretty supple. It looks like these are going to break it nicely. I've been talking to some friends on Instagram, and they're loving them. Uh, the panels look nice. It doesn't have that thick polyurethane coating. Um, just, you know, definitely some things that could be could be adjusted. I think they look really good. Tongue tags look pretty good. Doesn't have a sheen to it like some of the other ones. The padding is white. Well, we'll go over all that stuff very soon. Um, as far as the OG of this shoe, I don't have it. Uh, I did post on Instagram last week. Uh, the, the swoosh is a little larger on the OG. It's a little darker gray. It's got the sandpaper texture. This is just kind of smooth like a suede. On the heel here, you can see it's very rounded off. On the OG, it's kind of more pointed. And uh, yeah, just in general, just a few things that's a little different. But again, this is a really nice retro. Um, definitely maybe double up on these because they're that nice and they're not really going crazy on the aftermarket. Uh, we'll add those slides in next and then we'll look at a few other pairs. All right, let's look at the toe box really quick. A front end view of our low top and the retro 85 high natural gray. Uh, I think the biggest thing I noticed is just a nicer shape across the toe box. You see this is kind of humped. It kind of curves around. The polyurethane finish again. Uh, the leather thickness is similar, but I think the quality on this leather is, is definitely better. Um, so yeah, it's good to see improvements. You can definitely see it's not as white. It's more of that ivory, even the uh, midsole. Is oxidized but yeah I mean they're really really nice you know the side panels the way they're cut lower um, some of the OGs are cut higher up maybe not exactly as high uh, as we reviewed before even when you look at you know the black and white OG so it's a little a little more lower down that's on the BY factory yeah these are just really really good and we're gonna look Past tense, I think it's 2013. This is the metallic. The metallic blue is coming next year too, which I'm excited about, very excited. Um, but yeah, you can see this runs a little lower. This curves a little bit at the bottom, not too much, but it just got a little curl to the toe. I know the OG is usually more sleek. Um, the OG of these black and whites, which I'll be dropping in, they are about the same, but again, they've been worn. So when you have a worn shoe, over time they've been worn quite quite a quite a bit you know they're not close to dead stock um so they're, they're pretty much on point uh, but my guy max uh he was actually talking to some people uh that work for jordan brand and when they make the last and they mold the shoe around it it's kind of like when they're when they're basically shaping the shoe and they're making it too tight that's why some of the shoes you know i've talked about a lot of videos about that, that banana curl, you know, on some of these are more significantly worse than others, but that's part of the reason. So it's a little curved here, but not too bad. 
And this toe box is just completely different. Um, you can see the leather's not, it feels okay, but it's just not nearly as thick. It is super thin. Here you can see the grain. It just looks really nice. It feels really nice. Way better product. So I'm really looking for the, 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 uh, the blues to come back next year. Our basic retro tag, 2013. No registered logos, and it is a definitely more modern stitching. And here it's a little, you know, a little more like the OG, with the dual registered logo, a little looser. I really like the padding, it feels good. This is a little thinner, but at least it's not really shiny. As in, we should have showed here. It's definitely got a sheen to it, right? So much, much more of a sheen, and it's kind of got that blue tint. Um, but yeah, I really like this, this retro. It looks really good. So some steps in the right direction. Um, some steps from you know improvement for sure. Um, the toe box, we'll drop the OG right next to them next. So we have size 11 and a half. This is size 11. You can see it's like the same height on the midsole, but it just curves around a little smoother. And it's a little, little bit of humped on this one. When we do toe to toe, you also see that. All right, we're just gonna take a quick view of the heel as well. And you guys can see that this is much lower. Uh, you have the basic Retro 1 midsole tooling. You have the Retro 85 style. Just looks way better. Uh, the Wings logo, slightly larger, just cleaner look. Uh, better lines, no trademark. So hopefully in, I think it's February or whatever, that these are coming back. Um, the padding is just, there's like barely any padding on these. This is nice and padded. Definitely, if you guys looked back at that comparison with the OG, OG was more padded. All right, so toe-to-toe, um, -to -toe, we got the 2013, and we have the 2023, blue and natural. Uh, bigger swoosh. Bigger swoosh. I really like the way it looks. It fills out almost to the uh, laces here like the original does. This is larger than the last retro, and these are retro three times. Um, the first one was kind of like this. The second one, they had the incorrect lace holes and smaller swoosh, but I'll take this version over all three. I think it's the nicest, and the leather's the nicest for sure. Um, but yeah, correct lace holes on this. The toe box looks, looks good, but it's definitely got the more modern modern retro look um it's not perfect but it's you know looks pretty decent but you can see the toe cap on this one comes up definitely higher we're going to swap in the retro 85 next and you can see the side panels the improvement it just looks way better and even this like you can kind of see how it's humped and this is this laying flatter similar to the og the grays are pretty much on point Swishes maybe a little larger on this guy. Um, and then, of course, we're going to show. I traded my natural gray one uh, for my Jordan game used pair. So, sorry, not sorry. Yes, I missed them. But I will use the black and white today. And you can see the toe box comes just kind of a little sleeker. This is a little more humped, but not terribly, terribly. But I would love to see it a little, a little smoother. And again, Library Make Lab, HVND, um, Developer Boring, they all do a better tote box. This is improved, but it's still not as good as those three custom makers, and I'm going to stand by that. I know some people that upsets, but whatever. It's my opinion. Uh, we all have our opinions, and I just try to be very transparent with everybody. These look great, but yeah, there's other people doing them better. And there's other customizers. There's customizers that work with Jordan Brand, and people like hate on customs and all that. But there's people that have actually worked with them. It's like you can't have it both ways. Um, Max, another another great customizer that recreates. So, you know, it's trying to recreate the original just like this. So a little work to do, but pretty good. All right, so that's a quick review. Uh, look at progression with these retros. Uh, definitely some improvements. I really like this retro. I think they did a nice job. Nice leather. Um, Overall, I give them I give them a solid eight and a half out of ten for an official retro release. I'm really looking forward to that metallic blue next year, and uh, hopefully we see even more adjustments so they look exactly like this, but in the lower cut, obviously. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and follow me at OG or Bust on Instagram, and we'll see you guys soon.